We are back in Jersey City, New Jersey. We continue on with the Ball and Play League presented to you by DraftKings. This is the legendary cricket player, the former captain of the West Indies World Cup team, the one and only Darren Sammy. I am Chris Rose. Kelsey Winger, Tex and Elrod, a part of our broadcast team as well. I am super excited as a pair of 1-0 and teams go at it. Pinstripe strong, taking on Team Baggage. And let's start with the big news for Team Baggage. Their founder, the heart and soul of that squad, Jimmy O'Brien will not be playing. He's got a little bit of an eye issue, so Zoe is going to fill in basically as a designated fielder. So the winner not only remains undefeated, but also gets a first round bye come playoff time. The loser will score off against Lovius. Let's take you down to the cement as we get things rolling with Paxton. Thanks, Rose. If I could have both captains, can we pay attention? <laughs> Captain! You should deduct points just for not I listening to me. I agree with you. Okay. You're going to be flipping. You're going to be calling. Flip. Called heads. It is, in fact, tails. I think what are we going to do first? Um, we'll have a pitch first. Okay. They are going to pitch first. Up to you guys in the booth. So here we go. Pinstripe Strong will be out there in the field defending. In the meantime, Team Baggage, who's playing without their fearless leader, Jimmy O'Brien. Let's see how this affects them. How are you guys as a team just absorbing the loss of who we believe to be your captain, Jimmy O'Brien, as you head into this big matchup for the one seed? Here's what I'll tell people. You know, you're here watching a game. I don't know if I'll see my friend again. So I'm out here playing for that. That's deep. Uh, can I ask one more question? Why do you smell like alcohol right now? <laughs> Trevor Plouffe. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it looks like Shelfie is going to be the first bowler for Pinstripe Strong, and Team Baggage will start, as you always do with the first over, on a DraftKings power play. That means there is no wicket keeper in the circle behind the strike zone. This is Aaron Jones, 28-year-old, guy who was born in Queens, New York, but grew up in Barbados. He will be playing Major League Cricket for the Seattle Orcas coming up later this summer. We are going to be underway here in a critical game where the winner gets a bye. Oh, there's a swing, and that ball is put in play, and one run, even though it looked like it was going to hit him. Yeah, if he, if he just did not swing at it, it would have been a bad ball and he would have an extra ball to face. Right. Luke O'Brien with a smash and a six-run bounty ball. We've seen very little out of Luke. In fact, he only faced one good pitch in their opening win against We Got Ice. Yeah, because the other batters batted so well. Yes. They did not need him. They're going to need him today. That ball Whoa. gets knocked down and, oh, oh no. <laughs> Craziness ensuing, <laughs> two runs on that play. A missed wicket chance by Pinstripe Strong cost them an additional run. Oh man, that was good to watch. They running hard for everything. This game they say is for Jimmy. Yeah, as you take a look at the replay, I mean, if they had just held on to the ball, it would have cost them one run, but they tried to get a wicket and the overthrow cost them dearly. And it puts the dangerous Luke. Luke back on strike. Good call on that one. Three good pitches so far. Baggage has put nine runs on the board. There's a bad ball, and because of no wicket keeper, because of the DraftKings power play, that's two runs on the board. No. One for the wide and one for the run. And that smart play from Luke. He saw the first pitch, uh, Aaron swung at it. Luke just let this one go through to get the extra run. In the meantime, Jake's just, I think he's still drunk. Uh, There's a so He's just wandering around. Yes. That ball's hammered. That is a four-run bounty. Look at that. He really is hammered. I think he is hammered. I, I, I took an Uber with him this morning. And yeah, yeah I, almost, I almost was intoxicated <laughs> from inhaling the alcohol scent. <laughs> that ball smashed. Aaron Jones has figured it out. Let's rest. <laughs> What's going on? Well, I don't know. We might need a puke bucket oh, over there. I man. gotta be honest with you. Man. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a reason Jake started the game on the bench. 
That ball's hammered, that's three straight. Four run bounty. And a nice, nice over for Aaron Jones. That'll do it for the over. So now a new pitcher or bowler is coming into the game. This is Justin Dill, also known as Dilly or Dilla, depending on if you're talking to his friends or his wife. Uh, he's going to be playing it up for the Washington Freedom in Major League Cricket. 28 years old, born in South Africa. Well, he got a lot of work to do because the first over went for 23, and that's expensive. And by the way, that's the way you respond when you're playing without your top run producer, exactly. Jimmy O'Brien. Exactly. We understand he's currently in an Uber on the way to an eye doctor. We will keep you posted as information becomes available. Or, or we won't. Luke O'Brien. That ball smashed. This team has come out swinging, folks. I'm telling you, and they're connecting. It's all good swinging, but you got to connect as well. 27 runs on the ball. By the way, the DraftKings power play is over, so Lou Dab is the wicket keeper, and he comes in handy right away. Just one run on the wide ball. By the way, I like the way Lou's wearing his pants. It's a really interesting look. Style King. Uh-oh, that ball's tapped. Nice play oh. by Dilla. Saved one run. That's a dot ball, the first one we've seen. Rosie, you just brought up the pants of Lou. I think the pants are like that more so to show off the socks. Uh-oh, that ball's in play. And, and, uh, just one run across. What, what are the socks, by the way, there? They are Rugrat socks. Uh-huh. Uh, again, uh, what I haven't been able to confirm, if they're the same rug rack socks if, as yesterday, oh, that's if they are, if they've been washed, or if it's a fresh pair for today. I'm not sure. Yeah, God. That ball's tapped, and that's a six-run boundary! Aaron Jones has got it going. By the way, he's, this is not the Aaron Jones of the Green Bay Packers, okay? <laughs> Just to let you know. This is of the Seattle Orcas. That ball's hit and caught! Oh. There you go, Shelfie, that is an enormous play! As Shelfie erases Aaron Jones, that means the drunk guy's gonna have to stumble and be a striker eventually. Oh man, let's see what he does. Would he be able to see the ball? You know what, he's probably gonna be seeing two. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Jake Story Ali literally stumbles to the dish. There's one more good pitch in this over. Let's see what Story Ali's got. A former league MVP in blitz ball, but that is so different than the ball in play league. Oh, what and a stop! Oh, oh, wow! Let's see. I think That's Luke O'Brien got his bat across the crease before the wicket. Uh, we're going to have to review it. Let's take a look. And he's safe. Barely. That was a great play by Dilla. Great play. All right, so now we move on to the third and final OVA. Dilla looks like he is going to be the wicket keeper behind the strike zone. Blue Dab giving some instruction to Joe's McFly. Earlier, Rose, I actually saw Lou yelling at Joe's uh, for not putting his knee down defensively. So that Whoa. is what I think what we were witnessing right there. But hey, you know, you, you got to sacrifice your body in this sport. <laughs> you know, what's Joe's saving it for? More gaming? More yelling when Giancarlo Stanton pulls a hamstring? I mean, what? Oh, oh, gosh almighty. Yelly went in the magic circle. It's a hole. <laughs> It's a magic hole. <laughs> oh, the magic hole. Uh, Jake's got to collect himself. So, okay, listen, <laughs> there is a price you pay if you're going to burn the candle at both ends. Did you ever play drunk? No, never. You took it seriously. Ah, yeah. You, you look offended that I even asked <laughs> yes, the question. Yes, 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 take offense to that. Jake, Trevor, these guys, I'm shocked they heard this morning. So that is a good pitch, and it should be a dot ball, and it should be a total embarrassment for one of the co-founders of this company. But I'm not a finger pointer. Ah, oh, there's, there's a ball that's hammered by the guy that is hammered. Just one run. 
All right, so Luke O'Brien's back at strike, which is probably the best news the of best all. The best news. But let's just give Jake Storiali some credit. At least he ran the right way. Yeah, did you see what he did? He disturbed the Bills as well with his bat. There's a bad ball, no running though. But that is an additional run. 88 runs on the board. Another bad ball. Lou's trying to get really cute. He's doing like a Nestor Cortez sort of like running, delaying, pitching. Let's just throw a ball, a good ball. Now, or maybe don't, because that'll happen. Yeah, this one was hammered. Luke has come out swinging. He and Aaron Jones doing much of the damage in this first frame. Oh, oh. perfect pitch. Perfect pitch. That's a dot ball. Excellent by Lou Dad. Perfect placement. Two more good pitches left. That ball's hammered and another four run boundary ball. Nice work. So one more good pitch left. I got to tell you, if uh, Team Baggage gets over 50, they got to be feeling good yeah, about that round. That's the target. Anywhere above 45 is really good. Okay. It's good pressure on the, on the scoreboard. Okay. I don't know what Jake's doing here. What do we got? What it seems to be some antics. I think he's just trying to disrupt the bowler's rhythm. Yeah. That's, a, that's not very gentlemanly. No, is it? it's you don't, not. You guys don't do that. That ball smashed. And another four-run boundary <laughs> ball and a tally of 51 for Team Baggage out of the gate, even without Jimmy O'Brien, who is stuck in an Uber and Jersey City traffic as we speak. Did that boink right off your forehead? I don't know. I was too worried about avoiding Joe's forehead. <laughs> I didn't even feel anything. I kind of blacked out. Too many foreheads down there? Way too many foreheads down there. I hate when that happens. Big ones. Big ones. Oh. Hey, you got a big forehead? Uh, yes. No, I don't, actually. <laughs> I got a good hairline. It's not a, I can confirm, it's not a big forehead. It's like a three head. Okay, well, two head. Three head. Okay, three head. The fun doesn't stop in the warehouse. DraftKings Sportsbook is sponsoring this video, and they're offering new customers $150 in bonus bets instantly when you sign up now using promo code warehouse. That's promo code warehouse. Yep, that's right. New customers bet just $5 on any wager and receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. They've got you covered, and it's it's fun. It's really fun, it's just like playing ball and play league games. Comment who is going to hit the ground next. All right, so we head to the bottom of the first inning where Pinstripe Strong is facing a 51-run deficit, and the good news for them, they will start on the DraftKings power play. No wicket keeper, of course, for Team Baggett, who will start with Jake as the bowler. What do you think of that? Oh, man, and he's bowling against Lou, who, man, he's averaging almost a boundary four per ball. He was on fire in the first round. Yeah, 55 runs he tallied of their 109. So we're going to get this thing going. We'll see how much team baggage misses Jimmy O'Brien, who did the bulk of the pitching in game one. Oh, look at this. <laughs> This ball better not go for six before oh, this one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, how did that feel to uh, just do that right in front of your boss's face? Um, it felt good. I kind of knew he had something up his sleeves, but I, I was ready for it. Perfect. Love that. Yeah. Well, just one thing. Um, Jake does not rule the country. Of course, Lou is a postal carrier. So, you know, he's like one of the guys that doesn't work here. That's two for two. How's this going for you, Jake? Was it worth the extra shot last night? And hit. My goodness. And with this six, Lou leads the league in sixes. This is why yeah. you always leave with the first group. Yep. You always leave with you the first group. Right. Jake is the last group yeah. every time. There's another. Uh, oh, no, 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 just one run. Oh, look at, <laughs> look at Jake. <laughs> Going after Joe's to show off that wonderful hairline. Oh, my. LeBron's jealous, by the way, of that hairline. Oh, hey, keep LeBron out of this. I love 
love LeBron, but you got to admit his hairline's fucked up. He's trying to keep it as long as possible. <laughs> But that's my guy, man. That's my he guy. He should just do what I do, shave yeah. my back hair and staple it to my head. Oh, my. There's a shot, and nice it's play. A good save. That's very, very nice. And then Jake, of course, even though there's no out to be made, he's knocks just, the bails yes, off the wicket. He's just disturbing the bails. Yeah, making the umpire Nate work. So that was a good dot ball. A very good dot ball. Okay. After first two deliveries going for six. Yeah. It's a good comeback. Let's see what Justin Dill has. Play with this. Play with this. What's going on? Is Jake knocking this stuff yes, off? Yes, he keeps knocking it off. Jake's still drunk. He really is. This is a terrible embarrassment. Oh, look at that. The distraction. Oh, <laughs> but that's a four-run boundary. So let's, let's see. Every time he tries to distract the striker. He gets punished. Yeah, backfire. <laughs> Kelsey? Hey, Jake. Scale from 1 to 10. 1, death. 10, never felt better. Where are you at right now, physically? I've never felt better. I'm playing for my friend right now who's not here, John Boy. What, what is happening in all of the different antics um, that you're doing? It's a mental game. <laughs> He's for sure still intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mental game, guys. We know that. When our followers can smell it through the screen they're watching on, mm. it's bad. <laughs> Apples hammered another four run. <laughs> you know I'm actually enjoying the beating he's getting. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yes. Is it worth the trip from St. Lucia? <laughs> yes, it's definitely worth it. Too many antics. <laughs> All right, so that'll do it for, um, for that over. 21 runs it cost. The DraftKings power play is over. Aaron Jones is going to be the wicket keeper, and Luke O'Brien is now going to be the bowler. Maybe they should let Jake wicket keep. Is that where he could do the least damage? Yeah. <laughs> Just stand there, do yeah. nothing, it's stay in that circle. Because Aaron Jones is pretty quick. Don't you want that out on the field? Yes. Oh, Instead dude. of a guy who's got oh, zero dude, reaction? Like the leadership of Jimmy. Oh, boy. It's the first time bowling, actually, for Luke. Yep. And Luke's a pretty good athlete, too. I feel like he should be out there. That ball is at the six, six runner runs. from Ludab. Wow. Is that six number four? Five, six for, for Luke? Six sixes. Wow. He's crushing it. Another smash, another four run boundary. Oh, uh, here he comes Aaron Jones man, right? for some words of advice. He's saying keep it on him. Keep it. Pitch inside? Yeah, keep it inside so he hits it across so it ricochets and he could get a catch. Okay, but I don't think that quite did it. You know what? <laughs> inside, outside, upside, downside, it's the same result. But look how far he's standing from the strike zone. Would you work outside because inside it... Look how far away he is. Yeah, because he's forcing you. What he's doing is forcing you to bowl at the strike zone. Oh, look suit. at Dilla. Look at Jet. He's just sitting down. He knows he doesn't yeah, have to yeah, run. He's not needed. Oh, this team is just mocking team baggage. <laughs> that ball's hit in the... Oh! oh! That's what a designated oh! fielder's supposed to do, everybody. Yeah! He came to the party. Enormous play by Zoe. <laughs> oh, Jake. Zoe, right before the game today, you looked at me and you said, do you think I'm going to win this one? And I said, yeah. And now you come through with a big play for your team here. How good did it feel playing for your third team coming through with that out? Thank God we got Lou out. What do you mean, like five <laughs> sixes in a row? It's so fun. I love playing defense. You're doing it well, Zoe. Congratulations. Fourth game, third team. Zoe told me to throw it high, and he was going to pop it up. And then I threw it high, and he popped it up. That was all Zoe. Zoe, magic maker. So Joe's McFly now steps in as the striker. Lou Dab having a seat. And Lou finished with 29 runs. Uh, good. Out of their batting. 37? Yes. Woo. Good batting for his team. Huge play by Baggage. Oh, Joe's. 
Knocked away. There's one run, and that's all they're going to get. What is Joe's doing? He's trying to do a push-up. Come on now. <laughs> so just one run. We have one good pitch left in this over. No bad balls yet, right, by Luke? No bad balls. Uh, that's a rough one, though. Justin Dill with a six-run boundary ball, and now Pinstripe Strong within seven as we head to the third and final over. Now, because there were no bad balls thrown by Luke O'Brien, he's going to stay on as the golden bowler. That ball's a shot by Joes, and they're within one. Oh, my. This is, this is a good match. Yeah, a lot of explosive plays. Can they get to 60? Ooh. Six sixes for Pinstripe Strong in this inning. That's big time. Okay, here comes Aaron Jones. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, they're going no wicket keeper. Interesting. What do you think of that strategy? That's good because you could just, the, boy, the pitcher could just run down. Yeah, but it puts pressure on him to not miss. <laughs> Joe's with another one. Wow, and uh, Pinstripe Strong has their first lead of the day. Is that three sixes in a three row? Three sixes in a row. Four good pitches left. There's a bad Ooh, well, ball, well but left. Oh. well judged. Good job by Luke to get that, though. Yeah, that's why you know you could put the extra fielder to protect the boundary. Yeah, well, how about putting him about 30 feet in the air so he can knock <laughs> it down off the wall? There's another smash and another four runs. Good effort by Zoe. It's a 10-run lead for Pinstripe Strong with three good balls left. Oh my. We need a dot ball or something for Team Baggage, right, to stop the bleeding. That ball's hit, and... What do we have there? What happened? Did he hit his head? Did this Jack ran into the wall. Did he catch it? He caught it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Everything we, happened in this. Hey, we lose track. We lose track. We got to <laughs> see it one more time. Yeah, a remarkable what, catch. What happened? Let's see here. There's Jake in the back corner. Oh, he ran into the wall. Oh, Zoe. and it was caught by Zoe. <laughs> so, yeah, I was, Jake just splattered himself on the wall. Yeah. Do we need a spatula to peel him off? Is he okay? <laughs> All right. So that's two wickets. There's two good pitches left. That was nice. There's four guys out there. So you play baseball, you know more or less like the zone. If, if it's... I have no idea what they just said. <laughs> you don't speak New York Postal Carrier? With baseball terms? No. Shelfie. Smashes. Oh, oh, the umpire. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. All right, now what happens here? <laughs> Nate. <laughs> Nate got involved. He wants a replay. Okay. Uh, right there, I turned around. What happens there? The umpire. I turned around. I shouldn't have turned around. I, I, I got hit in the nuts, and I turned around, and I missed, missed the play. <laughs> I mean square, like it hit you yeah, square. Yeah, pretty good, it wasn't as bad, it wasn't so bad. I, I, I can shake it off. Okay, so before we head to replay, Darren Sammy, what is the rule in cricket when the umpire, is the ball dead or is it, you, you no, play it, it as it is? play it as is. So that's a wicket? That would, unfortunately, yes, that would count as a wicket. That is unbelievable. Let's take one more look at this. Here's Nate in the middle of the play, gets hit. Oh yeah, oh. close close to home if you know what I mean. But how about this? Quick pickup by Luke O'Brien to get the wicket and end the inning. That's a remarkable play. Luke, how were you able to react so quickly like that and record the wicket after another penis ball? I, I, like I've said before, Kelsey, I've been on that end of the penis ball. So I had a moment with Nate where I saw what was coming. We locked eye contact. He, Dicked it to me, and then I got the wicket. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
don't say anything about the magic hole. Any anywhere close to these statements. <laughs> So uh, thank you very much, Kelsey. Uh, by the way, there is no truth to the rumor that is the most action Nate has seen in the last oh seven God. months. <laughs> All right, before we get back to balling and playing it, woo, head over to the John Boy Media store, shop.johnboymedia.com. You can get 20% off your first order when you use code BIP20. That's B I. P two zero. Get yourself some ball and play jerseys. Get yourself some, I don't know, talk Giants versus the world stuff, because I like that. Um, I'm wearing the number three because of Dale Earnhardt. I don't know if I ever explained that, but now I did. BIP20, shop.johnboymedia.com. All right, so we head to the top of the second, and it could have been much worse for Team Baggage. It looked like Pitstripe Strong was on a real run but then they get essentially back-to-back -back wickets, right? Yes, and two drop balls. Uh, we should get only to 10 runs deficit. You know, it could have been worse. Could have been way, yes. way worse. So we've had our most explosive first frame combined for both teams. The pair of professional cricket players going at it. Justin Dill for pinstripe strong. Aaron Jones, who was very strong in his striking in the first inning. That ball played nicely by Lou Dab. It's a dot ball. And boy, if you have a dot ball for either team, it just feels like such a huge missed opportunity yes, when yes, you're striking. Especially when you only have 18 good pitches in total. That ball Catch. hit in the air. Catch! Catch! The guy, lose the guy. <laughs> Lou, are you that guy? Yes, I am Timothy. <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> oh, Timothy. <laughs> so that erases Aaron Jones. Two pitches, a dot ball, and a wicket. Great play by Lou Dab. And gets nice the work. dangerous Aaron Jones All right. out. So now the script kind of writes itself. Jake Storiali with a chance to do something big for his team. Is he finally going to show up? Okay, that's a four-run boundary. Nice yes, start. Nice start to me. Oh, that ball tapped. And just one run, just one run. Let's remember, they're on a DraftKings power play. No wicket keeper. But boy, if you are, uh, if you're team baggage, you got to think you got to put up at least 110. Yes, right? you have to, to. You almost have to double where you are. That ball's popped behind. There's one run. There's two runs. That's, that's I must say, the team baggage, they're on the on the fire there now. They need some sixes. One more good pitch left. That's a bad ball, and that's two runs. Okay. That's 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 free. That's free. Now they get a chance oh, to... Oh, what's Jake doing? Oh, he's not going to bat left hand. No. Do you guys have switch hitters in the... Oh, there's a shot, but... Just one run. Do you guys have switch hitters in, uh, in cricket? Yeah, well, with the shot, it's called a switch hit. If you understand. So guys would be batting right-handed, uh -huh. and they would just switch left-handed. Oh, okay. Yes. Got it. Okay. So we're moving to a new over. No more DraftKings power play. The scores are level. Yep. And Lou Dab is going to be the bowler. So that was not a very good over at no, all. No, it team was baggage. not. So now whatever runs this score, it means that uh, that Kim Strike Strong is going to be chasing. Yes. That ball smashed. There's a four run. That's a good start to yep. this over. They need a lot of fours and sixes mm -hmm. in these last 11 good pitches. We know how quickly Pinstripe Strong can pour it on. Yes, they have been the 
really good in this tournament. There's Ooh. a tap. Just one run. All right, Jake, stop it. Stop it. You're making other people clean up your mess. <laughs> Nate doesn't deserve that. Jake, I'm going to give you a warning, Jake, in your own warehouse. No, they need some sixes. Yeah. Well, Luke can provide it. And yeah. he does! Right on cue. Look with the big hit. Move the score up to 72. Means it's a 11 run advantage. Bad ball. Yep. He got to reball this ball. Lou means he cannot have back to back overs. Nope. Won't be the golden bowler. I love how Jake's mimicking him. There's a shot, another four run. Mm. Slight momentum shift here. Luke has definitely been their best striker of the day. Solid. Question is, can he put up another 30 runs? That's the question. Make it interesting. Luz. He has to. They need at least 40, 40 runs to, to make a game out of it. There's another smash and another four. I got to tell you, though, Pinstripe Strong's not worried about fours. I really don't think no. so. Not with the way they swing it. Yeah. But who knows? Team Baggage would come up with a really good defense. Yeah, you never know. One more good pitch left in this over. Oh, oh God, what are we doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? He had a brain fart. What are we doing? You All better right. swing at it. So now that's going to bring in Shelfie as the last bowler. And they lead by 20. They need a big over now to finish. Can Jake Storiali provide it? Does he have 25 runs in him? We what do you think? We will see. Well, I know we'll he see. What do you it. think? Do you believe in him? I think uh, he has uh, 15 in him. 15. Oh, gosh. Run. To oh, God. Run, run, run. So did he tip that? It tipped it. So that'll count as a good pitch and one run. But it does get Luke back as a striker, so maybe that's the good trade-off. Luke is on strike. Five more good pitches left. There's a four run. Okay. He needs, he needs four more of those. Yeah, he needs to mix in a couple sixes. I got to be honest with you. 40 runs against Pinstripe Strong. Yeah, it doesn't look that threatening. Oh, oh what? again, what's it doing? <laughs> what are we doing here, Luke? <laughs> like, there's some days he looks like the best striker we got, and then he does this sort of stuff. Yeah, I'd bother him. He deserves to be bothered. Why do you? I thought it was not going to hit. It's the, third, it's the third time you've watched it into the strike zone, and the same reaction every single time. Why are you not learning not from your mistakes? Adjustments, apparently, finding that out now. All right. <laughs> I heard Rose talk about how I'm not hitting enough sixes. That got in my head a little bit. I think I was still thinking about that. Hey, don't blame the fucking announcers. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Come on, kid. Let's go hit some. Be mad at me. Just swing at hit it, one, man. Hit one at me. Let's go. Let's do this. Go ahead, hit one at me. Don't take it. Thank oh, you. Oh, there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. If you don't go, you never know. Th that's what two Miami of Ohio guys will do for one another. Oh, he, he, he went to the same college I oh. did. Now, granted, it was 30 years after. Well, he there. needs to finish up strong here. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> Two runs, and it keeps Luke at the strike. All right, here we go. Last ball of this over. Last ball of this inning. Let's see if they can they get to the century They could get to mark. 100. If, if they hit a six. Ooh, Jake. Uh, Jake, what do we? Yeah, that's good, Shelfie. You give it back to him. <laughs> you know what? I heard Jake was drinking out of that shoe last night. <laughs> oh, that, no wonder he's in this state. I'd pitch it fast if I was Shelfie before he put his shoe on. 
That ball's popped in the air, and there's a wicket. So a great finish for Pinstripe Strong. Amazing, Team Baggage gets close to the century mark, and they gotta feel like shit because they're only up 33 runs, right? Yeah, that's not enough. But you never know, that's the game of cricket. Yep, Paxton? Yeah, see, I wanted to ask Joe's McFly a few questions, because I overheard you talking to Lou in your last at bat that you were just here to hit sixes. That's why you weren't running. Is it something to do with your dance of like, Orange, that's it if I'm, if I'm hitting the, the boundary. But, um, I mean, we're, we're trying to hit sixes for sure, but I kind of forgot to run. You forgot to run. But I'm going to tell myself that we're just hitting sixes. Got it. Okay, so you're taking a mistake and making it a bumper sticker. Don't tell them. Okay, perfect. hey -o, it's me again telling you about the JM Entertainment Channel. We put out so much good stuff on this channel. John Boy Media Entertainment. Board game tournaments. I dribble a basketball across New York City. Finding your birthday partner. Our corn maze stuff, you might think, wow, corn maze, YouTube. Go watch it. It's electric content. Make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy it, watch. I'll be there, and so will all of John Boy Media. All right, we head to the bottom of the second, and Pinstripe Strong, they're chasing 34 runs. Now, if you're team baggage, you know you're at the mercy of four and six run boundary balls. So you have to make plays that are in front of you, right? You need wickets. All right, here we go. Jake Storiali is going to be the first bowler against Joe's McFly. I just deal in fours and sixes. Oh, that ball tapped in. Oh! oh! Did he get it? Did he, Did he get, get it? it? Wow. The dangerous Lou, the mailman, oh. can, he, can he be out? He doesn't look too confident. Wow, what a great play by Jake. Let's see if he gets Lou Ooh, out. Oh, great diving effort. Oh. His, his bat cleared and touched. And once it clears and touched, it can bounce when it hits. It just has to touch on, on the other side of his body. Is that not a dead ball? It's good right there. It hasn't bounced yet. Question, didn't Joe's hit it off himself? Is that a dead ball? Ooh, good question. No, because, no, we're gonna go, we're gonna let that happen. If, it, if you hit it and it hits you, still alive, as long as you don't kick it, something like that, still alive. All right. Wow, okay, that is huge, huge news. That could have changed the entire the, complexion of exactly. the inning. Exactly. You was, need to get him out. He's the danger man. So far, right. he's hit seven sixes in this tournament. They need Lou to pop one up here, to be honest with you, Team Baggish. Oh, Jake trying to, uh, uh, eh, uh, uh. <laughs> that is just not. <laughs> when will he learn? These antics don't work. He gets punished every time he tries it. My God, Lou Dab. <laughs> That's his eighth six. Wow. Wow. That leads the league, right? Yes. Far and away. That ball's hammered. <laughs> Another six. That ball was not even going to be a strike, and he still hit it out. Man, I'm telling you. Rose, just so you know, that ball hit Zach in the owner suite directly. Really? Yes. Zach, but he's okay. You all right? <laughs> he seems to be okay. Do you need to file workers' comp? He's okay. All right. He's fine. Ooh, not the stat team baggage wanted. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> My goodness. Hey, Jake, let it hit you. No? Look at him, he's scared. Man, this team is dangerous. Oh my goodness. Chasing 17. Oh! <laughs> Look at Jake. <laughs> he's trying the old pickoff attempt on Joe's, but he hadn't left the crease. I would run right now, because he's not even looking. I know the ball's not play, is it? But he's trying to run me out. I would steal a run. That ball smashed. Nice play by Aaron Jones. And a dot ball. Ooh. Okay. Much needed dot ball for team baggage. One more good pitch left. They need to get Lou out if they have any chance of winning this game. Oh, bad <laughs> ball. That's going to be two runs. One for the wide, one for the run. That's the 
advantage when you're on the DraftKings power play, which is now still has one more pitch left on it because there's no wicket keeper. Oh, Joe's, no, that's it. It hit the strike zone, ball's dead. That's another dot ball, and that's the end of the over. Yeah, good finish by Jake in yeah. the end. Yeah. But it's only 15 runs needed from 12 legal deliveries. I'll tell you, man, they were this close to getting Lou Dab out. Oh, man, but the commitment, that dive, that, that was a game-changing play. And that's where uh, Kelsey's little knee savers came in handy. The turtle knee pads. The turtle knee pads. Turtle, what's that from? Turtle, turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Master of Disguise. Do uh, you remember that? No. All right, so Aaron Jones is the new bowler. You can see him for the Seattle Orcas in, the, in Major League Cricket come July. Has to find some magic against Lou Dab. That ball is a four-run boundary. Oh, man. Is that his 10th four-run? 11th? God. John doing a great job on the stats. Oh, Catch! Oh! 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 Play. My goodness, could that be the game winning catch? Unreal. Luke O'Brien, are you kidding me? Are you going calling fucking speed right now? He said it. Oh, I caught that. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Luke, did you did you think you had a chance at that the whole way, or were you just trying? Really, at the end, I thought there was no chance. It looked really far away, but I got there somehow. I caught it like in my arms. I mean, that's a huge out for you guys. Do you think that might be the biggest out you've recorded? It's a sliver of hope that we need, Kelsey. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. Hey, did he puncture a lung? He kept grabbing his side. Is he okay? Huh? Okay, so that's the first wicket. But it's still the dangerous Shelfie. I mean, he's probably the most undervalued player on this team. He can do it all. He can pitch. He can hit. Strike. So let's see here. That ball tapped. Oh, oh, Jake. Oh, he threw it away. Are they going to keep running now? That's fine. Okay, that's just one run. One run. But boy, they had a chance there. Yes, they ball did. hit right at a fielder. Chick was not quick enough. Okay. So now Joe's and Strong chasing 10. Oh, make it chasing six. That was a four run boundary ball. <laughs> right through the hands of Jick. I don't think he saw it coming, anyways. So if Joe's hits a six run boundary ball, that's a walk off. It's over. And. Oh, there's just one. Get it. Oh, oh did he get it? Did he get it? Could that be another play? Wow, we gotta take a look at that one. Did it beat Shelfie or not? Oh my goodness. Luke. Oh, no. No, he's in, he's safe. He got the bat past the crease, so Shelfie is safe. Wow. We, look at this, two bang bang plays. They could have changed the complexion. So now Shelfie just needs a four or a six. I would love a wicket right now. Make it interesting. So if Shelfie has a six run boundary ball, it is over. That's a bad ball. Oh, they're running. Oh, oh, he got it. No way. Man. Oh, my goodness. Was they will Shelfie get, out of the crease? They will get one run for the, for the wide. Right? But it could also cost them a wicket. Oh my goodness, Shelfie is out. Oh, he is clearly out. Yes, he is. That is a second wicket. Oh my. It's not over. Wow. So Justin Dill. So here's the deal. If you're keeping score at home, there was one run on the wide. There's one wicket left. Don't even move. Because we are still only in the first over set. We got don't the last thing we want is an out. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, so here's the deal. If Team Baggage records one more wicket, they win in this the game. pitch. Game's over. Game's over. If Justin Dill hits a six, 
Oh, four. Or four, the game's over. The game's over. Okay, what do you say we play? Let's play the feud. Here we go. The pressure. In for the magic hole. Oh, Aaron Jones trying the okie doke. And Jones is like, dude, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Justin Hill taking the top. <laughs> the suspense, the pressure, the moment. Who's going to be the hero? That ball's hammered, and that is it. That is a walk-off win for Pinstripe Strong as they come back and get it done. And an interesting celebration for the winners who will take the bye. And in the meantime, Team Baggage, they fall to the first round of the playoffs where they will square off against Loveyes.